I'm back to do another video on how to make buys and sells. I wasn't happy with my previous video because the, the screen, the image wasn't, wasn't very clear. So this is my wife's phone and this is her uh, account on BitCub. Let's go into settings and from settings we can select language, go into English, yes. Okay, back to the home screen. We've got here top gainers and top losers. I like this function because it helps me quickly gauge which of the coins have had a big move up or down. So in this case, for example, CVC's had a big move up. So I might be interested if I'm holding that, I might be interested to sell some and top losers. So R&D has had quite a big move down. So I might be interested to buy some of that. So for buying and selling, we go into market. Here she's got some of her coins uh, marked with a star. If we look at all the coins, there's nearly 50 coins on this exchange. And you can just select star and un unselect the side. Go back to her selection and Ethereum. So the price currently is 72,597 baht. We can look on the chart to see the, the movement. I'm going to assume that you all know how how the charts work, that each candle is however many minutes. So here it's five minutes, that's 30 minutes, that's four hours, that's a daily chart. So trade, that's showing buy orders and sell orders that people have, uh, have put on. Um, latest is obviously showing transactions that have gone through. And then order, so my wife actually has an order for 500 baht to buy Ethereum at a price of 57,000 baht for one Ethereum. Um, we click at the bottom on buy. She's got 59 baht available, so let's select all of it, 100%, or maybe we want 50% of it. Now I've got a couple of options, but let's just look at limit and market. So limit, I'm going to put the buying price that I would like. So if I feel that the price might drop that's maybe a bit too expensive I feel that it's coming down and maybe my target is 70,000 so I'll put in my target price 70,000 and one satang just as an example and buy so now that's gone through and it will be placed in trade and if we scroll down, it doesn't scroll down far enough, but it's in there. If the price starts to move down, eventually we'll see the 70,000 and once a tank. And then if uh, it, it could go through. Um, here at the top, I've got my orders. So we see the order I just put in, the limit order, and that's her existing limit order. I'm going to cancel that. Cancel, okay, okay. Go back to buy and I'll show you the other one, market. So let's do 100% market price. Market price is going to give me the top one here. Okay, so someone's wanting to sell at 72,597 and I will be buying from that person. If I'm selling at market price, it'll be from someone who wants to buy. So let's buy, okay. There we go. So she's just bought 59 baht of Ethereum. I can go to history up here. This is, you see the clock there? It's going to show two things, open orders and history. So that's her remaining open order. And if we go to history, we see that we made a purchase 59.68 Satang at 72,597 baht for one Ethereum. That buy bought her 0 0.0008-2207 of an Ethereum. You can see some of her old transactions over here. So she's got some sells at 71,400. She's got buys at 59,000. So she did well. She bought at 59. She sold a little bit at 67 and then the balance at 71,000. So she made a profit here. That one now she's probably going to make a loss because now let's look at how to sell. So sell, that's how much Ethereum my wife's holding. We just bought that. Let's sell 100% of it hundred percent and limit so the price has gone up if I if I, I let's say I put 73,000 and one setang 
It's telling me I'll get I'll receive 59 baht and 86 satang. Or I can go to market. Market sell. Let's do it and see what happened. Go back to the clock at the top. Go back to history. There's the buy and there's the sell. So um, she lost in this process, she's lost uh, 16 bat, 16 satang, sorry, which is nearly nothing, so fine. Uh, go to wallet. Okay. I don't know her, her, her code. So we go to wallet, we can look at history again, and she did a withdrawal over there and she did another withdrawal over here um, you see these buys that she did uni ethereum 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 uni and then she sold uh, I need to click on it to see what that is she sold uni over there that's it that's how to do basic buys and sells you've got two options again let's repeat you've got two options uh, two main options. There is a third one which I won't go into right now. So we can go to buy and either a limit or a market. The third one is stop. Um, but selling is exactly the same. Limit, market and stop. That's it. So I hope this video is clearer and useful to you. Thank you. Say hello to my little wife. <laughs> I lost you 16 satan. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs>